Hey everyone, it's Cass from Carb Lens with episode 5 of the Garbage Pail Kids Sapphire Report. Let's get right into it. We're going to start with what's happened in the past week with uh, this wonderful set. So first of all, we've had the highest sale price ever for a Pod Parasha on March 4th. Uh, Live Mike, one of one, sold for $3,051. You'll note, of course, there wasn't another item here in the lot, the Live Mike coin, but I think you could subtract maybe $100, $150. Um, from the value of the card, but still we're talking about $2,900 um, for the most expensive Pod Parasha sold on eBay to date. Uh, second, we've also seen some strong sales with red. We talked a week or two ago about how I see a lot of growth in red in particular. Um, we're starting to see that particularly with the high-end cards. So you've got here Fry and Brian 4A that sold for $1,000 at Buy It Now, um, and you've got Dead Ted uh, 5A that also sold for a thousand dollars. As always, we check Slab Watch for the actual uh, sold price, including shipping of 1013 right there. So um, I foresee a, a lot of more growth in red, and we're going to talk about why uh, that might be in, in the coming weeks. Um, next, uh, well, <laughs> folks, the streak is over. You know, uh, Steve at SPK Breaks. Cards and Breaks had four breaks in a row where he pulled a Pod Parasha. He didn't happen to pull one last night, but what a, another wonderful break. You can see all the color here on the screen that he did pull. Um, and of course, the best part is the community getting together and hang out uh, for this particular break. Uh, I think he's doing another one, actually, on eBay. We'll put the links to, to that down below. Um, so the breaks keep on coming. Uh, do check that out if you're interested. Uh, let's get right into kind of what's new. In the, um, in the data we're tracking around Garbage Pail Kids Sapphire. Uh, as always, we have our price tracker here for all parallels. And then we've got our character index, and we've added this kind of handy infographic here uh, for the top 10. As a reminder, this graph is interactive, so if you hover over here, you can see kind of where you your favorite character lands in uh, the set in terms of sale price. And looking at the bottom, we still have, yes, Dirty Harry at 64% of the average card uh, is rounding out the bottom there of the top 166. Um, on the next tab, we've got ASP tracking, which, as you can see, the trend here in red that we're talking about. Um, but here is what's new. First of all, we've got this base set sales tab. So since this set has been released, uh, we've had, what, 17 sales of the complete set on eBay. Uh, you'll note, of course, that the first sale was $1,400, the second $1,448, those were in December. Um, then there was a period where there weren't many complete sets selling, but lately that's kind of picked up um, you know, uh, the pace a little bit. So if you look at since February 17th, you're talking seven um, that have sold and another one uh, actually, the auction's ending tonight in just a little bit. It looks like it's going to sell for over a thousand. Um, and you can see the trend here. This kind of uh, line right here is the uh, past four sales, the average trend line. Uh, and then these are the data points for for all the different sales that have happened. So, uh, you know, it's relatively flat, but certainly in the last few weeks, it's been picking up a little bit um, with the last sale at one thousand two hundred twenty dollars just a, a day ago. Um, and then finally, really excited to share this, which is our star index. I mentioned how we've broken this set up into commons and stars. Uh, the stars being these four cards right here, Adam Bomb, Blasted Billy, Nasty Nick, and Evil Eddie. They truly are uh, cards or characters that sell for much more uh, than the average card. So that's why we've been actually tracking the sale price of every single one of these on eBay. So for example, 8A, Adam Bomb, we've had... Let's go down, what are we talking here, 182, roughly 180 sales all time on eBay. Um, and what's super interesting to see when you kind of plot this out here, I'll zoom in so it's a little easier to see, um, is you have the first sale of Adam Bob was actually the, the most expensive one, $350, then it quickly went down and it dropped into this range right here. Um, but it's steadily been increasing ever since. You can see the solid blue trend line uh, right there. And recently it's kind of uh, ticked up significantly as well. My theory is this is driven a lot by some of the PSA graded atom bombs that have shown up on the market. 
Um, so folks might be looking for kind of the best conditioned uh, atom bombs, but for whatever reason, um, the trend keeps on picking up. Uh, same to some extent with Blasted Billy. You see those early prices right here. Um, then there's the bottom, and it's been slowly picking up. Uh, if you look at 8A and 8B, there have been lots where uh, folks have sold both cards at the same time. This is super interesting to see. I didn't expect this to see this trend line, again, consistently picking up from around $65, maybe $70, um, all the way to now, you know, the trend's at easily $130, $135. Um, so really, long story short, Adam Bomb, Blasted Billy, uh, continues to perform really strong. Um, the other is Nasty Nick, and, and this was interesting. You do see the drop as well, but once it dropped, it's kind of stayed flat. Uh, kind of the same with Evil Eddie here. When you look at the lots, you know, the same as well. And, you know, when we initially started looking at this set in December, we actually expected, you know, Nasty Nick to not only be more expensive than Atom Bomb, um, but to continue to trend upwards. The reason is we looked at the sales price for OS1 cards that were graded by PSA, um, and those were selling for significantly more than Atom Bomb. So the real story here is that, uh, for whatever reason, Atom Bomb, the popularity of Atom Bomb, uh, continues to grow. Um, so netting it out, you know, this is hopefully charts that'll help you decide, should I sell, you know, one of these four cards now? Or perhaps more importantly, if I'm collecting the set, when is a good time to buy um, this particular card? Uh, you know, you do have to collect these four cards to complete the set, and they are the four most expensive cards. So hopefully this data will give you a sense of, uh, do I want to buy them individually? Do I want to buy them as lots, and when? When do I see, where do I see the trending of that price going? Uh, as always, we'd love your feedback on this data. Is there anything else you want to see? Is it helpful? Um, what else can we put here to help you uh, collect the set? That's really important to us, is uh, helping collectors uh, collect this set, because it is an expensive set, but you know, if you're like me, you remember Garbage Bill Kids when you were you know, a kid and you've been a fan of Garbage Pail Kids for a long time. So kind of minimizing the cost to collect it is, is uh, priority number one uh, for us, uh, for you guys. So with that in mind, I did promise that we'd start uh, a giveaway, a series of giveaways in each videos. Um, and what we're going to do is ask a trivia question, and then you put your answer to the trivia question down in the comments below, uh, and uh, we will... When the when the trivia question closes, whoever gets the closest answer without going over uh, will win the prize for that particular video. So this is the first giveaway we're doing. This is card number one. I wanted to start it out the right way. We're actually going to be, going to be giving away an Evil Eddie base card. Um, so again, what you want to do is answer this question that I'm about to ask in the comments. Um, and you also need to be a subscriber uh, to the channel as well. So those two things, as long as you're subscribing to the channel um, and you get the closest uh, answer without going over, then you will win this Evil Eddie card. Um, and here's the question. Uh, there's this particular Cactus Carol Red that's up for auction on eBay. We'll put a link to it down below. Um, and the question is, what will be the final sale price of this card when the auction closes Thursday at 4 or 6 p.m. Eastern Time? What will be the final sale, sale price of this Cactus Carol Red when the auction closes Thursday, 4 or 6 p.m. Eastern Time? <coughs> and the, your answer should include shipping. So uh, right now, the sale price is $224.72 plus $550 shipping. So that's what, 229, uh, 230.22, right? So if it closed right now and your answer was 230.22, you'd be bang on. Uh, so again, put your answer in the comments, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, and whoever is closest without going over will win this wonderful uh, Evil Eddie base card. So that's it. That's episode five of the Garbage Pail Kids Sapphire Report. As always, uh, please leave your comments down below. We love answering them. Um, and tell a friend if someone's into this particular set and is looking to collect the set or have any questions about the uh, price of certain cards. We're hoping these videos are helpful. All right, guys, stay safe. Thanks again, and talk to you soon. Bye-bye.